Praise be to Jesus. Hi everyone, Charles here with you. Well, I was looking at my Facebook feed and uh, Dr. Boring uh, posted something here um, about the removal of the uh, bishop uh, from Memphis, Tennessee, Martin Holly. Um, I don't know if you remember what's happened there, but he's been removed. And some things were cited. I can't remember exactly what. Um, I, it may have something to do with finances. And oh, the the, the one thing was that uh, he had moved a bunch of priests around. Um, uh, anyway, um, he was replaced, and um, you know he began to speak out. Like you know, I mean, like you know, he was saying to the media, like, "What's going on here? I don't understand what's." why I was removed. So anyway, um, uh, someone made a comment on this post here, and it says, uh, God bless you, Dr. Boring, because I tried to get this on YouTube and it had been removed. Now that that is something there. If that's true, that might show us the hand of the Vatican, um, you know, working with uh, Google uh, to remove unwanted content, um, you know, because, you know, Google is liberal, the Pope is liberal, uh, they're going to work together. Um, this was in the uh, final document from the um, uh, Synod uh, that there'd be some kind of, um, oh, I don't know what you, I forgot the name, uh, the word they were using. Um, there would be a... Um, a review of websites and some of them would be approved and um, it, it didn't say others would would not um, would be disapproved or you know um, you know um, spoken badly about or anything like that it just said that you know the Vatican was gonna approve certain websites and sort of gave you the idea that uh, if you didn't have the approval um, then, um, you know, you were going to, you were going to have trouble, you know, the websites were going to have trouble and this could be, um, you know, this could be an indication, uh, that this has already started. I mean, I really wouldn't be at all surprised anyway. Um, so, um, anyway, this person who made this comment couldn't find it. Um, but actually it's on, um, well, this is not YouTube, you know, I, um, cause it doesn't say YouTube. All right. So where this is called the world over with Raymond Arroyo and it must come from their website, I would think, because it's, um, it comes from something called love EWTN. Um, I'm not real sure where this is actually posted, but you know, I mean, I know where it would say YouTube, and it doesn't say YouTube, so, um, uh, but anyway, this is the, um, this is his, um, explanation of what he understands, uh, which he still doesn't understand a lot. He asked for an explanation, hasn't been given one. Uh, this may have something to do with Cardinal Whirl. Um, anyway, um, the, um, um, you know, the content of the video is interesting if you care to watch it. And, um, you know, I mean, I posted it for that reason and also that it could very well be an example of, um, you know, the Vatican's hand in removing uncounted, uh, content, uh, unwanted content uh, from the Internet. Um, so, I mean, that's part of the reason why I changed the name of the channel to take the word Catholic out of it. Um, well, I, you know, that and the fact that I found out that in canon law, you can't call yourself a Catholic organization or uh, it doesn't say, I don't think it says website, but, you know, generally speaking, you know, unless you have the approval of the bishop, which I couldn't even, I wouldn't even bother trying to get it from Cardinal Supich. Um, so, um, you know, just to be, you know, just to be in line with canon law, I mean, I didn't really need to hold on to the word Catholic. So that's what, that's why, um, in, in case anybody still doesn't understand why I changed the name of the channel, that's, that's why I changed it. 
anyway, so for those couple of reasons, that's why I, uh, um, you know, that, that's why I'm posting this here. So if you want to watch the video, I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Uh, that's it. Bye.